Hey guys, and welcome back to Blocks Figure. Today we're going to list 10 YouTubers that Mackenzie Turner hates and why. But before we begin with today's video, I want you to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. Also, make sure to give this video a like. But, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it. For number one, we have I Am Sauna. The first one on the list would be I Am Sauna, who, just like Mackenzie Turner, is a Roblox YouTuber that primarily plays Adopt Me. You're probably wondering that if she plays plays Adopt Me, then Mackenzie has no reason to hate her. Well, you might be wrong. Sana is best friends with Leia Ash, who is basically Mackenzie's main rival in the community. She's also very envious of the relationship that Sana and Ash have together and wishes she has the same with her career. For number two, we have Leia Ash. It's not a secret that Leia Ash is Mackenzie's rival competitor, which is why she dislikes her so much. They often play the same Roblox games and are competing for basically the same audience. You can easily find many dramas online on how the two very very much dislike each other. One of the major reasons why they hate each other is the fact that after Leia Ash took a break, everyone's attention was on her, so that's a bummer for Mackenzie. Moving on to number 3, we have It's Funny. Just like I Am Sana and Leia Ash, It's Funny is also a YouTuber Mackenzie Turner cannot stand. Turner hates It's Funny for two major reasons. One, it's because It's Funny makes one video per day and live streams. She's genuinely jealous of how the YouTuber keeps her statistics running despite being in the same industry. The second reason is It's Funny has a group of crew called The Crew and she's always wanted to have friends to help her out with that. For number 4, we have Inquisitor Master. Mackenzie also hates Inquisitor Inquisitor Master for the same reason she hates It's Funny. Inquisitor is undeniably one of the most successful Roblox YouTubers out there, and she's jealous of all of the content she puts out as well as the squad she has too. She's also extremely envious of the YouTuber's fan base. At this point, it's safe to say that Mackenzie is just generally a jealous person. For number 5, however, we have Megan Plays. Megan Plays has always been one of the most anticipated Roblox YouTubers in the game, and Mackenzie can't seem to comprehend the fact that Megan might be better than her. A lot of things in Megan's success has always been the basis for Mackenzie's success as well. With this, it's not impossible that Mackenzie hates being compared to Megan Plays, which is really inevitable. This upsets her easily and dislikes Megan really easily. For number 6, we have Flamingo. Without a question, Flamingo is easily one of the best and well-known YouTubers in the Roblox community, and Mackenzie hates him for it. She hates how much viewers love him and wants him gone from the industry. Sounds a bit harsh, but that's the truth. And yet again, she's also very jealous of how healthy and famous Flamingo is in the community. So sad. For number 7, we have Pinkleaf. Mackenzie is very insecure of her success, and if she sees anyone who has a greater potential than her, then it's not impossible to hate them. This is exactly what she's doing to Pinkleaf. Without much effort, Pinkleaf is catching up to Mackenzie these statistics and she hates him for it. For number 8, we have Lanky Box. Mackenzie has always loved the idea of trying to be genuine on camera, and Lanky Box might not be the best example for that. Lanky Box exerts so much effort on their video, and Mackenzie thinks that they are trying too hard. She's always been a fan of real and raw content without much editing, and Lanky Box does otherwise. For number 9, we gotta give it to Gravy Catman. If you spend so much time preparing and making sure you're presentable on camera, then someone like Gravy Catman appears to be more successful than you, then yeah, you probably hate them too. Ask Mackenzie because it's what she did to Gravy Catman. And finally, for number 10, we have Russo Plays. Mackenzie hates Russo the same way she hates Gravy Catman for not even trying. I guess it's safe to say that she might hate everyone in the community that she sees as a threat. That's why everyone hates her as well. But anyways, that's all the time we have for you guys today, so thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more awesome Roblox content like this and much more. We'll see you guys next time, but until then, take care and goodbye.